Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to optimize the whole box section beam. And uh, I start with the cross section over here. Uh, in this cross section, at is the height of the beam. TW is the thickness of wave. TF is the thickness of planes. And B is the width of the beam. And uh, in this uh, cross section, uh, moment of inertia can be defined as this one. First part is this one over here up to this d square is for the wave and rest of order is for the planes. We have two waves, so two times the thickness of wave times the height to the power 3 divided by 12, which is bh cubed divided by 12 plus area is uh, again we have two uh, two wave so this is why two times thickness of wave times height is the area of the uh, wave and d square is d square is the distance from the neutral axis to the center point of the wave that means we don't have any distance between them which can be which can be zero so the whole whole uh, sum of a uh, whole multiplication of this content over here will be zero and coming back to another side, this is 2. Again, we have uh, 2 flames, so this is why 2. And times b times thickness of flames to the power 2, well, uh, 3 divided by 2. Well. And plus area times d square, we have 2 of them. And area is this one. d square is equals to s divided by 2, which gives us h squared divided by 4. And this value can be ignored because thickness of flames would be about 5 millimeter or could be 6 and the content out of this would be very less not that significant so we consider this to be zero and then we get the equation looking like this again the section modulus section modulus is i divided by e uh, when we replace this value over here we, we just derived over here and e is the distance from the neutral axis to the extreme a's of the wave and this can be done like this and it is when we solve this it is coming like this <laughs> and thickness of flames relation uh, this is according to euro code the relation between thickness of flames and uh, <clears throat> the relation between thickness of flames and the uh, breadth of the uh, box beam is uh, like this and further we try to we are interested in the value which are unknown so we consider b is one of the unknown and b is coming to this side and when we take rest of the old value another side it is looking like this w is always known because once we know the bending moment we can a bending moment and uh, uh, this material what we are uh, going to use for that particular case then we can always define uh, get the, the result for section modules so it is not unknown it is known to us and rest of the order we can uh, further go like this and once we know the thickness of planes can be uh, can be uh, replaced like this then I just replaced thickness of planes with this value over here because we're trying to guess uh, get less as possible unknown and uh, as I said earlier this is thickness of flames and b beta is zero in our case I'll show you for the why it's zero and <clears throat> b equals to looking like this which is already derived over here in this equation when we take this b to another side there will be the value for b square and then further this can be written as this one you can you can write me in the comment below if there is something uh, you don't understand or if there is some problem with uh, the equation you think that is not correct uh, again coming back to the area of the uh, area of the box section area would be looking like this and the b over here we replace b with this value over here which is derived earlier i will just quickly show you where are this value coming from this is over here this value we just replace b over here and times thickness of flames 
and further when we do the calculation the result would be looking like this a equals to 2 times w divided by x plus 4 times thickness of wave times x divided by 3 and nita is the factor that is the relation uh, that is the ratio between height and the thickness of wave and a would be looking like this uh, area because uh, I just replaced the uh, wave GW with the ratio between height and meter and it is looking like this at the end the result would be looking like this and when we do the derivative with respect to H in our case then the whole equation would be looking like this and at the end result would be like this so now we have the equation for H once we know the height of the beam that is required for our cross-section then we can derive thickness uh, of wave so height of the beam is related with section modulus and this section modulus has relation with bending moment so most uh, we could say the height depends mostly on the bending moment and once we know these two we can say uh, the equation we derive we can utilize because in this equation h is unknown h is unknown we know the value because uh, we have derived here h and thickness of wave is unknown we have derived the value over here so b is known once we know height of the beam and thickness of wave and once we know these three value thickness of planes also can be derived with the help of b and these factors b beta and b uh, beta c and beta b this can be uh, this these are coming from the table these are based on your material and the geometry so since we now now have four equations that can help us to get the a height thickness of wave breadth and thickness of planes in optimized manner are this equation one two three and four now I'm taking a, 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 one of the one of the example uh, and it is uh, looking like this if in case I have not put to the detail about how it's loaded and how it's going to be lo loading it it really does not matter because uh, I'm not showing you here how to draw bending moment and say for strike run uh, this is why I just uh, put here already in a share for strike run and bending moment uh, so uh, let's say 160 is the maximum bending moment we have and we are using uh, let's say 355 Newton per millimeter square W is the section modulus of uh, uh, our required section modulus for our beam which has relation between material um, for bending moment and uh, the material yield capacity by using this two value over here we can get the section modulus which is looking like this once we know the section modulus we can further get all the, all the result for our calculation I quickly show you the table this is the table it says here uh, is still a structure and it says uh, the distribution how the stress distribution is and uh, other other constant value over here but uh, in general uh, if we know that uh, material s355 uh, beta B is uh, uh, 31.2 and nita is uh, uh, 98 point9 and BC equals to zero uh, because uh, this does not have free aids it says free aids over here and we do not have free aids so that's why it's it's zero in our case <coughs> like I mentioned here zero 98.9 and 31.2 so once uh, we know all the values that are required for our calculation then it's very simple uh, for example uh, most of you who is doing the design of the this kind of uh, box beam in optimized manner if you want to I mean you don't have to go through all the calculation what I showed you above you can straight utilize this equation for equation over here and get the value ready for you and uh, nita is this beta is this beta b is this so h equals to 
2.144 millimeter and uh, thickness of wave is this pw is this thickness of flange is this so after having all the result now we have defined defined uh, the geometry according to our bending moment which is 160 uh, kilonewton meter but uh, if you see the bending moment diagram there it is 160 kilonewton but both the aces does not have 160 kilonewton of bending moment so we do not need similar profile over here and what is the profile over here we don't need the same profile over here that means we can optimize this profile profile uh, we can make the wave thickness going down 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 but at this point whatever is the wave section that should satisfy the the shear force capacity if in case there is no bending but for example if there is high bending then it, it is different so uh, in this case there this a should satisfy the shear force and also the same with this one this a should satisfy the shear force so but in uh, in this design i'm considering only one side which is 160 kilonewton meter because this side also we need some wave height so we can build the connection so i am uh, just calculating uh, required height for according to shear force in this area and going to do same thing in another area here over here so when I go down again again so I'm considering VED right which was in the right side of the right side of the beam uh, is equals to 160 kilonewton and this is coming like this so it's like this and at the end it would be looking like this and a required area required is equals to uh, would be vd times root 3 divided by fy and it is like this and again again a is because we are interested about the required height in the A's of the A's of uh, our A's of our uh, cross section over here and A is this required area cross section required area in this point and uh, H uh, I'm just interested about the H so this can help me to derive the H uh, so which is required height is 119.83 so we must have 119.83 uh, on the both uh, on both the A's of A's of the uh, hollow section so once we know the height we can optimize uh, just a straight line going from here to the point uh, with the height of uh, 119 let's say we could uh, round up that figure with 120 and once everything is done <coughs> once everything is done then uh, it is ready but uh, in our condition in this example i have used this kind of pin connection and eurocode had some requirement for short pin connection and i have I have put you the table coming from Eurocode which shows that uh, what kind of requirement is there uh, or what are the requirements should be fulfilled so that uh, the pin connection can be used what well, that this tells what should be the age distance what should be the thickness of uh, the pin we are using for our example and this kind of uh, uh, structure are used in uh, crane they're called crane boom and this kind of design are used in uh, such uh, design uh, but definitely i have not shown you the the calculation how the bending moment are calculated and uh, there is two one is uh, 
due to fatigue and due to uh, static loading. I have not shown you such calculation because such calculation is uh, if I if I try to put that calculation the video will be way too long than uh, it is expected uh, this is why I have done it this way and these are the requirements for the pin as I said you earlier and in next video I will try to do something a new profile and uh, let's see how how it's gonna look like I have not decided it but I will do that yes thank you very much